Welcome to this Debaco University video where we're heading out to the botanist. This is a dispensary facility and we'll be conducting an interview with the pharmacist Uzma Zakar. We've got Kira along to help some of the interview, so hope you enjoy. And today we're at the botanist so that we can interview the pharmacist Uzma Zakir. We're going to ask her a little bit about herself, about questions about the botanist, their educational outreach, some misconceptions that people may have, and just other general information about being a medical patient over at the botanist. So good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today for an interview. To start, just introduce yourself. Give us a background. Tell us what you do here. Sure. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Ozma Zakir, and I'm a pharmacist. And I've been a dispensary pharmacist since 2015, um, where we get to treat patients using marijuana as their medicine. Um, it's been a very, very rewarding experience. And it's amazing to be a part of something that's evolving and progressing so quickly. At The Botanist, we really pride ourselves in our education department, where we do keep up to date with the current cannabinoid research, um, really keeping close relationships with the growers and understanding their products, and then putting that together to really see how much this plant can do for us. And it's been such a remarkable experience to see um, how much patients improve when they do get their medical marijuana card and work with us. So how would somebody get started in the process of becoming a medical patient at the botanist? So it is a two-step process. So first, your doctor has to determine that you have one of the 38 qualifying conditions, and then your doctor will enter your certification into the state system. Then the patient completes an online application where um, your val you need a valid government-issued ID, as well, as well as proof of residency. And that can be a little complicated, so we do help patients um, by appointment to help them complete that part of the application. That's great of you guys to do. Is there anything that patients should keep in mind while going through this process? Yeah, there is a $100 fee to the state that we currently reimburse to our patients. Can you describe the different delivery methods and how someone could best utilize each of them? Yeah, absolutely. It's really great that we have such a wide range of, del of delivery systems because it can really, uh, the program can really get tailored for a patient's individual needs. So there's of course um, flower to smoke and there's vaping products. As after that, there's so many choices, which is great because many patients come to us, they don't want to smoke or vape and they can still get the full benefit of the program using things like oral solutions, which are like dropper bottles, tablets, capsules. There's baked goods. There's even um, topicals, which can help with a whole range of conditions. That's so great that there's so many different ways to go about that. It is really great because everyone has their own individual needs and really understanding, and, and I think my favorite part about what I do is just talking to patients, understanding their lifestyle and really getting an idea of what's going to work for them to empower them and just give them the right tools in their toolbox. And delivery systems are really important because also um, the delivery system determines how quickly a medication is going to take effect and also how long the duration of action is, how long it's going to last. So it's really nice to, to tailor very specifically for each patient. What are cannabinoids and how do they differ from terpenes? So cannabinoids and terpenes are from two different families of molecules. So cannabinoids are the molecular components of the cannabis plant that actually makes cannabis medicine. So it works physiologically in our body with our endocannabinoid system. Terpenes are aromatic compounds that actually exist in all plants, fruits, and vegetables. Um, so for example, lavender is very high in linalool, which is very, makes lavender very relaxing. Um, the most common terpenes found in the cannabis plant are beta-mercine, beta-caryophylline, linalool, limonene, and pinene. And in Connecticut, they're measured and they're on, um, they're on the product labels. And that really get, help us, give us an idea of how a particular harvest is going to make a patient feel. What are some general precautions and warnings that you would give to your patients prior to coming here and ordering? Yeah, I would definitely say make that consultation with your pharmacist. So all of our locations have really great medical cannabis pharmacists that are here to help you and assist you. Because we're pharmacists, we also understand your medications from your, from your regular doctor and your pharmaceutical medications. So we can go through your regular medication list, make sure that there's no drug interactions, and then introduce cannabis safely into your medic medication regime. 
If you have never used cannabis before, that's totally okay. We have lots of different products that have no psychoactive effect if that's what you're looking for, but you're still looking for that relief. And so really starting off with low doses, speaking to your pharmacist on how to safely titrate up and explore different options and different regimens. So that's what makes medical cannabis unique is that you have a guide. And that's what I love doing the most is getting to know the patients, getting to know what they need and what they're looking for, and then being able to set them up on something to empower them on, on getting better. It's Kiara. Um, I'm here to talk about my story being a medical patient at The Botanist. So when I first qualified to get my med card, I thought it was pretty difficult to find really a home base for a dispensary because a lot of places are pretty variable with their products, with their customer service, hours, but I find that The Botanist is very consistent and that's what I really like about this place is that there's always great customer service, I'm in and out pretty quickly, you know, it's quick but not hurried. A lot of these products here, you can see that they have lab testing for microbiology, microtoxins, heavy metals, pesticides, which of course are not things that you want to be consuming. And so it's really great to know right on the bottle that you're not getting any of that in your product. And in my opinion, one thing that really sets the botanist apart from other dispensaries is how informative they are to their customers. You don't have to worry when you come to the botanist because they will let you know exactly what you're going to get yourself into. There's no confusion. They have so many options here and I just really love how transparent they are with everything and how helpful they are as a dispensary in general. So that's why I always come back to the botanist no matter where I go it seems. <laughs> So here at The Botanist, we really understand the endocannabinoid system and the science behind cannabis as medicine. So the endocannabinoid system, I really like to take the time out to explain to patients why, work, why cannabis works as medicine. And it's really amazing to see patients when they realize that just like we have a cardiovascular system or an endocrine system, we also have an endocannabinoid system. That, um, the molecules in the cannabis plant that make cannabis medicine are called cannabinoids, and we call them phytocannabinoids because they come from a plant. But lo and behold, the human body actually makes its own versions of these cannabinoids, and they're called endogenous cannabinoids because they come from the inside. So um, the two most prominent are anandamide and 2-AG, and anandamide was actually named after the Sanskrit word for bliss or supreme joy. So. How do these work in the body? Well, they work like a lock and key on our cannabinoid receptors, CB1 and CB2. So the cannabinoid 1 receptor is actually the most prevalent receptor in our central nervous system. That means you have more receptors for cannabinoids in your central nervous system than for anything else. And that's a really phenomenal statement. Um, and the cannabinoid 2 receptors are mostly found on your immune system, your tissue cells, your organs, and even in your skin. So what, all, what are all of these compounds doing? We've got these receptors and we even have enzymes that work on the endocannabinoid system and we have our endogenous cannabinoids. Well, scientists put it all together and they named it the endocannabinoid system and it is really a complex molecular signaling system that really helps regulate almost every physiological function in the human body. And that's why when you look at a state qualifying um, conditions list, there's so many different types of illnesses. So you're looking at something like ALS, which is neurodegenerative or neuroinflammatory, but then there's also PTSD on the list. There's also Crohn's disease on the list. Um, so how this explains, the endocannabinoid system explains why one plant is good for so many different disease states. So the cannabinoid 2 receptors on our immune system is really what helps modulate inflammation and why cannabinoids are such potent anti-inflammatories. And then with the cannabinoid 1 receptors, if we just look for an example of like pain, for example, in our central nervous system, it's actually been shown in studies that our cannabinoids actually modulate every step of the pain processing pathway in the human body. So that's ascending pathways, descending pathways, and the cannabinoids are there playing a part in all of it. Um, so again, it's just so much potential for the plant. The more you learn, the more you want to um, help people. You know, I've, I work with patients who, have, who suffer from fatigue because of some of their illnesses. So it could be an autoimmune arthritis, it could be fibromyalgia, but fatigue is a top symptom or chief complaint for them. 
And what's really remarkable is when you start working with patients and you get them to sleep properly through the night, you get them on the right cannabinoids, maybe CBD during the day, you really start fighting that inflammation. They start relieving their symptoms. They're in a better mood. And then lo and behold, they have more energy. So patients have come back to, and said to me, wow, I didn't think getting something from the pot place would give me more energy, but it has. And that's really fighting that stereotype that people who use marijuana are gonna be sitting on the couch ordering pizza. I mean, our patients are getting back into the gym. They're getting back to work. Work, they're walking their dogs again, um, and they're, they're loving more parts of their life or more parts of their day. Okay, so I do believe that all illness, right, you have to include the mind, body, and the spirit. And I feel that that's why cannabis has helped so many people, is that not only does it relieve your pain, it also puts you in a better mood. And that is one of the reasons why in a lot of studies, cannabis is a more successful pain reliever than opioids. It's because of that mood component. Understanding that patients have gone through a lot in their health journey before they have even come through our door. And we really like to focus on being sympathetic and compassionate and completely non-judgmental. We have patients that have been using cannabis for years or decades. We have many patients who've never used it before. We welcome everyone the same way. We have something for everybody. And we really like to tailor our services to, to everyone for their uniqueness as an individual. Um, so when we look at our products, and one thing that's great about Connecticut is that we do have a lot of information on the label. So we have the cannabinoid potency, so how much THC or CBD, and as well as the terpenes. Now terpenes are really important because we like to put together the strain, the cannabinoid potency, as well as the terpene profile to really give a good kind of estimate on how that particular harvest is gonna make a patient feel. So you may have a classic indica strain um, that's maybe very high in THC, and then we look at the terpene profile and it has uh, maybe it's very high in pinene and limonene. Well, patients have come back and told us, well, that's really good for focus and energy. And so we'll say, okay, well, you know, perhaps that particular harvest is going to hit more like a hybrid and not just be an indica that's going to put you to sleep. So when patients call or come in and they're looking for a, a recommendation, my advice is tell me what delivery system you want to use and how you want to feel and let us do the rest. So there's some common misconceptions that I'd like to clear up because I think it's intimidating, right? And patients might not want to get their card or come to the dispensary and they're missing out on, on so much potential benefit. Um, a really common thing that I hear is, I don't want to get high. I don't want to get high. And I say, you know what? That is no problem whatsoever. We can cover your symptoms um, from morning to night with cannabinoids that are not going to give you a psychoactive effect. And you never have to smoke or vape. Some patients do not feel comfortable with that, and that's completely okay because we have so many different types of delivery systems. Um, so you never have to smoke or vape and you can still get that full benefit from the program. One of the favorite things about my job is hosting the monthly can of convos. So we have monthly virtual sessions where patients can join, general population and even providers from other states have joined. And we talk about insomnia and terpenes. We talk about chronic illness and PTSD. And I like to share the current cannabinoid research that's going on, how I implement it and how our pharmacists, because we also do staff education as well. So we share our knowledge and how we can really use the current research in treating our patients every single day with the products in Connecticut. So that can look like targeted cannabinoid therapy. That can look like not using THC all the time or not using just CBD all the time. There's other minor cannabinoids, right? There's THCA, there's CBN that we have in the program. And really understanding how you can use different delivery systems, different cannabinoids at different times of day to get 24 hour relief of your symptoms. And it's really just having those right tools in your toolbox um, to really get back control of your life. And it becomes a beautiful cannabis community and our patients have even given us feedback saying my favorite part about these events is that I feel like I belong to a community because really it's also about um, removing the stigma from using marijuana as medicine. We have patients that are even judged by their own family members for how they choose to medicate and treat their symptoms and we wanted them to know that we're here for them, we understand, and we're all in on this together and really getting, um, sharing the knowledge of why cannabis is medicine using scientific evidence is so empowering for us and it really helps um, patients feel more comfortable and strong in their decision to use cannabis as their medicine. In. So the monthly events are definitely um, one of my favorite parts of, of the job. 
And uh, so coming up, I'm going to be doing cannabis and pain management, which is a huge topic. And then for Valentine's Day in February, we're going to do PTSD and relationships. I'm looking forward to that as well. What we also do for our education department is spend time with certifiers, providers, and doctors. So really getting them to understand what we're doing here at the dispensary. Again, talking about how we do the consultations, how we review patients' medication lists, all other diagnoses that they may have, because the body is just one body. It's all connected. And that's what's amazing about the endocannabinoid system. It helps regulate all of the physiological functions in the body so you really have to understand what's going on everywhere. And I like to really push for the potential of the plant, to see what this plant can do. Um, and that, is, that really kind of keeps me going. All right. So my name is Uzma. I'm the director of outreach for our three dispensaries here in Connecticut, the botanist in Montville, the botanist in Danbury, and Prime Wellness of Connecticut in South Windsor. You can visit us at our website, shopbotanist.com or primewellnessofconnecticut.com. Um, and on Instagram, thebotanist.ct. And you could also contact me on Instagram, the Cannabis Soul.